Guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. Now, since the last video did so well, it offensive tip, we're gonna talk about defense today because defense, I think, is even harder than offense this year. So I wanna give you guys some good to run. Today, we're talking about a formation that's become really popular among co competitive circles. 245 out, of course, the nickel formation, which is in a couple of playbooks. I like to mostly run it out of the Chicago Bears playbook because they have 325 wide, 245 odd, and also nickel triple. Now, you guys, I'm really trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year. So if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Just click the button down below. It will help me out so much. And without further ado, let's get into it. The play on defense that I'm gonna come out in is gonna be this pinch two. Now, this is gonna be our main blitz, and it is really simple to set up. Now I'm gonna show you this against Bunch left bunch right and then also uh what to do when they start adjusting to it so on offense we're just gonna come on in let's just say well, i'm gonna come on in spacing switch why not then i'm gonna go to pinch two i want to respot the ball real quick the basic setup that we're gonna run or that you're gonna face most often is gonna be bunch to the right a lot of people just it ha it just so happens to be that their bunch is on the left hash mark okay so what do you do first of all you want to make sure that you have a fast linebacker in this spot right here i prefer safeties to be honest so I've got this guy Smith right here, and then all I do is I just press the defense, which is triangle, then down on the left stick. I'm going to blitz our linebacker, which is right on the D-pad, there, right on the D-pad, and down on the right stick. And then I'm going to pinch my D-line, which is left on the D-pad, down on the left stick. So this is how this is then going to look. And now just I'm going to run this against a five out. You can see that I'm on the on offense. I'm not blocking anybody, so I'm going to snap this ball. And then I'm just going to start lurking and you can see how we get a nice little pressure in. Now we get, uh, first of all, uh, this linebacker in, which is really interesting because generally linebacker is not that fast. And the main idea of the splits is to get the cornerback in, the slot cornerback. But one of those edge rushers is going to come, come in. So we're going to do the setup one more time, which is press the defense, blitz our linebackers, pinch the D-line, and snap this ball. So now you can see everything is set up. Boom, 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 and absolute double edge heat. So what do we do if they start adjusting to it? First of all, we're going to block running back. So we're going to do the same setup. There you go. This is how this is going to look. We're going to snap this ball. Cool. And now the difference that you have to do, or the thing that you have to do differently, is you have to engage with the right guard. So basically this guy, my user right here, I'm going to have to touch and go on the right guard. So I'm going to... Black the running back again, just like that. I'm gonna set up the bits on defense. And now I'm going to snap this. Okay, running back is blocking, just quickly gonna engage and then I'm gonna peel back. Very, very cool. Now, if you are playing ultimate team right now, then you have a faster slot cornerback than the Bears right here. He's really slow, he takes a while to get in. Promise you, you won't have an issue with that in ultimate team. So one more time, I'm gonna run this setup. Very, very simple. Gonna block the running back one last time. Gonna engage and then peel back and then play some coverage. Let's get in. Of course, we have a faster slot cornerback, then things are easier. Now, what do we need to do to get this in against a block tight end? Well, the exact same thing, basically. The exact same thing. We're gonna press the defense, blitz all linebackers, and then pinch our D line. So, this is gonna look. I'm gonna block the tight end right here on offense, just so you guys can see. And I'm gonna engage right here with the tackle, and then I'm just gonna peel back. Wow, they're getting back to that? That is wild. Let's try that again. That is really wild. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to block the tight end. going to engage right here. And you see how we get that guy in freely. Now, you need to engage a little bit longer for this. Uh, sometimes if you do it too short, then they're not. it's not going to work. Just flat out, that's what it is. It's just not going to work. So you know the same thing again. And I really recommend you guys getting practice mode and really try this to get the timing down perfectly. So I'm going to engage right here and you see how we get the guy screaming in free one last time. I want to run it for good measure because I've been struggling setting this up for some reason. Uh, and I just really want to celebrate that I finally got this to be consistent. Really interesting. I'm going to do this. Boom, 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 boom. And he passes him off perfectly. Wow. That's actually really cool from an offensive standpoint. But man, is this frustrating because it feels like you got a free rusher right there. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I'm getting a little bit pissed now. Boom. Okay, cool. Okay. Now we got it. Now we got it one last time. Because I just really want to end, it, end this off on a high note. I want to make sure this is consistent, you guys. So you're going to do the same thing again. Very, very cool. Boom. And I'm right there to lurk that. Yeah. 
Very, very nice. I don't know why that took so long, to be honest with you. I, 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 I lab that and it worked. Now, let's try that with the bunch to the uh, left side of the field. I'm just going to flip the flip thing. And I'm going to come out in a new play because I don't want to always have to flip. But this should work the same uh, same way. So let's just... Oh, no, wrong play call on, on defense, my bad. Wrong play call. It's just I'm gonna ramble this right here. Just that's just how I record. My, I like to record my videos. Pinch two right here. Let's call this. And uh, spacing switch is also called this. So we're gonna do the same setup. Wrong controller. We're gonna do the same setup. Pinch blitz all linebackers uh, inside. But what you need to do for this is you now you need to use this guy. So I'm gonna block the running back. You're gonna want to engage just like that, and then go back and play defense. Slot cornerback gets in. Very, very similar. Now, when it comes to the tight end, this sometimes is a little bit more inconsistent. And I want you guys to be aware of this. It's gonna work sometimes, but it's a little bit more inconsistent than it is from the uh, with the bunch to the right side. So I'm gonna snap this ball right here. Gonna try to engage, and you can see how we get the cornerback in. Just know that it's a little bit more inconsistent, and you guys need to be aware of that. Now, one more time. Gonna do this, 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 this. Gonna block the tight end. Gonna engage, gonna engage, gonna engage. And we get somebody's gonna come in free. It's not so consistent which one is gonna be. But just so you guys know, there still is a good chance of somebody coming in. So one more time. Gonna block, do this against the block running back now. Boom, cool. Engage for a second. And then, wow, get the head of everyone picked up. I guess this one more time. I wanna, I wanna actually get... I wanna end this on a good rap. So we're gonna do this, 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 this. Blitz is set up. Cool. Nice. Now we get the slot cornerback pressure. All right, breaks the sack, but whatever. Hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this really is a good blitz. It's what everybody is running right now who considers themselves a pro. Uh, three, for, three for five wide is coming a little bit out of fashion, and this is going to be the new defense everybody's going to run to. Now, I'm going to be doing a full ebook on this. This is just the start of it, just so you guys know I'm doing more on this because this formation really seems like it's going to be glitchy. But yeah, stay tuned for what I'm going to show you out of this. Till next time, goodbye guys. I appreciate the support so much you showed on the last video. Please, let's get this also up there. Once again, I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys are new here and you want to support me on that journey, subscribe down below. Hey, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.